Yo, what's good people and welcome back to yet another video on the channel. This week I'm going to be doing a part 2 of the Coop, the Truth and the Nami type samples. So if you like the sound of this... And as usual, follow my Instagram that's going to be on the screen and let's get straight into this. For the first thing I did was use these two kalimba sounds and I layered them and they sound like this. And as usual, I just threw on the reels, but I put the flutter really high just to give it that really warped effect. Then just a little tiny reverb, nothing at all, 8% mix. Then I used this timeless chorus that had like a delay effect, but I turned it down in the mix. Next, I added this like arp guitar that sounds like this. Then with that, I used the reels again chorus to just make it a little bit more thinner then i used a reverb with high decay but slow mix and then as usual i just down with it to 11k next i just added this bass guitar that just sounds like this and as usual just threw on a micro shift then i added this like accent pad that was like a synth that sounds like this And I just used that to be like an accent on top of the bells. Then with that, detuned it again. Just a reverb, a little bit of EQ, took out some mid. Then I just wanted it to pan left to right. Then I added this piano keys just to give it a little bit more of like a warmth. And then with that, I reels as usual. Took down some lows, boosted some highs just to give it a little bit more presence. Then I used this like flanger just to really give it like a modulized effect and just make it feel very uh like vintage and then for the second half of the sample i added like these wind chime bells that sound like this then a flanger just give it like warped effect and just make it uh, quite a lot of depth on it then i just used the delay just to fill the spaces and i also down sampled that to 8k then I added this second like dry guitar that just gives it a little bit more of a rhythm. Sounds like this. And then I just ran that through the reels again. Then I had this flute that sounds like this. Then with that I just put on the reels again, then a flanger. Then I downsampled that to 6k, just put a room reverb on it, just give it a little bit more brightness back in and just give it stereo. And then I used this fab filter timeless chorus again. And as you can see here, I automated it so it just came in and out. And then I added my own vocals that sound like this. It's just two different versions of my voice just went higher pitch and then lower pitch. All I did with that was just put this auto tune, but then I just put this sine wave shape and just turned it up a little bit just so I can hold notes better. And I used this ambience reverb to just give it an airy feeling and just took out some lows, highs, and just a little bit of flounder just to make it a little bit more thinner. And then lastly, I added this bell and accent, like down sample to 8K, so it sounds like this. And then with that, another flanger just to give it that nice airy feeling. Then I just use this automation with a mix of the delay just to give it a little bit more stereo on the accent part. Then lastly, I added these perks and textures to give it a little bit more drive. With the perk and texture, I added this chime sound just to give it a little bit of a build up. So it sounds like this. Then I rendered out the whole sample, brought it down by three semitones, and then as usual just ran it through this vinyl, and this is how it all sounds together. So 
yeah that is the whole out sample and if you liked it you know what to do drop a like subscribe get me to 1k i'm nearly there so the sample pack will be coming and then don't forget to follow my instagram that's going to be on the screen i'm out and i'll see you in the next one